everybody, it's Stormy Iris, and welcome back to Moro Kami HD. Last time, we had started our quest here in the Moon Cave, and also gaining the ability Inferno. Also getting two of the ingredients that we need in order to give Orochi his rightful meal. So I am coming back through here, um, just as a kind of like a thing that I actually forgot to do on my own playthrough, so I have no idea what this is going to be. So we're kind of all in this together. Um, so I'm going to actually discover what this is. Uh, please let me on it. On top. Yes. So come up here. Um, for coming all the way back to get this reward. You get a extra system slip LS. Are you kidding me? Oh, I came all the way back. Just for an extra system slip. I mean, they're good, but like I didn't think that coming all the way back here just for that was going to be worth it well at least you now know what is all the way back here if you choose to come back okay so I don't think there's really anything else back here for you I was just kind of coming back here on my own to kind of see what was going to be back here I mean the exorcism slip will be good um but I was just really hoping that it was actually going to be something more worth your while because I mean you're coming all the way back to the um all the way back to the beginning of the moon cave, essentially, but I suppose that's how that works. Um, alright, so I guess we're just, we're just gonna jump right back into the fray of things. I believe you need at least two, I think. I think you need at least to give him two, and he'll give you a new key. Um, so I, or, uh, Ajimi, that's who we want to give him to. So, I'm gonna come back up here, at least have half of them done. Go to dash, and over here. You brought more than one secret ingredients. I knew you'd be the perfect assistant. Anyway, offered ogre liver. Ogre liver. Then offered lips of ice. He, 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 what else you can have? No, it's not how you count, but I thought you would get. Um, I thought you would have gotten the... The thing? Okay, um... So where we actually need to go next is... Is it back up here? If you remember... We saw that giant thing of ice that we couldn't do anything about. Now it's going to be what we can do with that. Okay, um. Flip that up. Oh, oh me. Alright, I suppose we're just going to swim up. We're going to come back through this door. And. The bridge is out. Whoops. Was that broke at the, uh, the bridge if you. She actually. Uh, she. You soon actually suggest that you go on a diet. Isun, just because you're like a, a size of nothing, I mean, doesn't give you the right to be mean. All right, so come across here. Once you rejuvenate the bridge, it's not going to collapse again, so you really don't need to worry. I'll bring the fire to there, and we can progress on to, you guessed it, another demon, uh, another demon gate. And this time around, it's going to be a fire eye. He's very angry. He's shouting at me with his eye. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so now, this for the um, these guys, uh, these guys are weak to wind. Wind is how you're really going to want to... Ow! Wind is how you're really going to want to take care of these guys. Whoa, okay. Um, take you out. Uh, wind... Uh, let's get a demon fang. Um, well, buddy, lips of ice. Um, slash and then attack. Ah, crap. Oh, I should, I should just waited for him to even attack. Ah, crap. Um, yeah, nope. Okay, I will gladly take the crappy time on this one. Because that was not that bad, actually. Not too bad. So, because you defeated him, we get a new treasure chest. And that means the only time you even remotely encounter this enemy for a while, you get the eyeball of fire. Okay, now that we're actually going to do something, let's just continue on. So we have three of the four ingredients now. This room, I believe, is... Just for the key, yep. 
Um, I believe you can come back for those chests. There is a way you can get those chests. It's just, I don't remember actually how you do it. I believe you can, um, hold on. Um, let me see here for a second. Um, if you open this up, I believe if you kind of angle it right, I believe you can ignite that ball there. No. Um, it is about tricking it out with the, um, the thing. Um, nope. Okay. I don't know exactly when you're supposed to go back and do that. I don't exactly know. I don't think it'd be worth your while because there's no stray beads or, um, oh, Orochi's angry. I was already you know about. It sounds like he's hungry or something. Uh, what if he's eating pork kushi first? Well, he hasn't. Because Orochi has better things to do with his life. And that is all that needs to be said. So, we have this new key in hand. We're going to be traveling over to the other side. Lockjaw! Knock him out. And we're going in. Oh, no. <laughs> I knew this part would be coming. Uh, well, you guys get to see me rage. Absolutely, like, no tomorrow. Alright. Um, so, we have a new type of ball pushing problem here. So, this ball will not move by normal circumstances, so you need to physically push it with uh, dash attacks or headbutts. Uh, oh, no. Please stop. Please stop. I believe a power slash will stop it. I <laughs> I didn't mean to attack him. It just kind of happened. <laughs> uh, I saw a path. Okay, so, yes. Um, you do need to um, have wind. Infinity Stone is really good for this part, by the way. If you haven't gotten one. Oh, oops. Um, yeah, you're going to ne definitely need to keep pushing the wind. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. No. I will sacrifice my life if it means for you not to fall. I... Did that on the first try? Are you kidding me? I struggled. Like, no tomorrow on that part. It was just so unforgiving to me. And above... Oh, wow. I didn't think I'd be able to do that on the first try. But I will gladly take that. I will gladly take that, actually. Okay, so... At that point... Uh, you kind of just need to push this thing onto this little... Uh, thing. No, Ami... Push it onto the thing. The, Ami, how did you miss? It's right there. Yes. There we go. And that's going to light that up. So, now, we can progress. But first, before you do that, uh, come over here. Take this up. And Clover. Loom that. Oh. Loom it. Thank you. Get some more praise. Only five praise this time, but... I mean, praise is praise, right? I, I can't believe I got that on the first try. That took me so long. Also, we get the moon cave map. Um, uh, so this, I believe you do need that. No, you can kind of just walk out. Okay. So, up here, you have a merchant. Also, that does ignite all the other ones. So, you do need to come up here. Um, so that does actually burn up all these other ones here that are around the moon cave area. I don't think there are actually enough draw distance for it. It'd be like right below there. Uh, it's actually right below us, so we wouldn't actually be able to see it anyway. I suppose you can kind of see it for a second. If you really want to look. Okay, so we have a merchant here. Uh, do some shopping. Uh, yeah, you can actually do that. If you wanted to, you can actually buy the Infinity Judge here. You didn't get enough uh, money from that. I'm actually going to buy a couple Infinity Stones. Yeah, that should be plenty. And I'm actually going to spend 10,000 yen on a, um, on a Exorcism Slip L. Yeah, I will, you, I mean, it'll become a little bit more clear, um, uh, when I want to use that. Um, uh, for right now, um, I just want to just buy that for right now. But having all these Infinity Stones is also a really good idea. Okay, so this cannon here, um, you want to... Uh, the dreaded platforming that are these things. Okay, um, 
Really hoping? Yes, first try. Thank God. Okay. Um, examine. Did you not use cannon? Uh, office I sign like that. I changed my mind. Let's just be a little. Let's be a little naughty, like as if uh, the Fred from uh, Courage. So you want to angle this right. Angle that like that, and blow that up. Hopefully. No, not even close. Okay. Um, can, can I just have the thing here? Oh crap! I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it. Nope. Okay. You really want that thing to aim towards over there, but I kind of messed it up. Please. Looks good. Looks good. Eh. This is a little off, but. But yeah, we did it. So come over here. Uh, have the blossom here. Latch onto that from there. Recommend you do that. Makes your life a whole lot easier. So in here, now. We have a fight with a black imp. Yeah, these guys are kind of going to be the only, like, kind of the few that you'll see. Um, anyway, uh, we broke all his, his skulls, power slash him, and get our whole three demon fangs from him. You're going to want a lot of demon fangs in the coming future. Just 2020? Whoa, that's kind of awkward. Um, okay, so... Man, Orochi just loves using ball physics puzzles. Uh, ball physics. Um, so we actually have to guide this ball all the way to the, um, all the way to the other end of this chasm. We have quite a bit of ways to go, but, um, and you cannot touch it, you will get burned. Just letting you know. So you kind of just want to push this, uh, the ball a very good way, just so that it makes it a little bit easier for you to push this thing. Uh, crap. Um, uh, I believe if we could just go like that. Uh... All right, yeah, that works. That's fine. Um, you only really need to get this thing to a good position, and you should be fine. Yeah, right there. That will definitely work. Okay, come up here. What? What? Oh crap. Um. Crap. Crap. Uh, no, Ami. Barely can do that. Barely can do that. That's what you want to do. Up here, got a Holy Bone M. Stores 10 years of energy. And because you used all of our ink trying to do that. Put that up to that. This is my second treasures. Lacquerware is set. And last but not least. Just, just do that. And that will melt that. And one last demon gate. Here we go. And we got another black imp. Along with some red imps. And you will block your hit with the um. Oh. Whoa, I didn't mean to kill you. I suppose I will. Kill you. Come on, last really good grade. you here we go and we are out of ink come on let me have some more thank you uh, what i collected ink pots though and that is it at long last not really at long last it's only took like two what two episodes to even really get through this, this is kind of what i picture for the gale shrine but <laughs> i suppose that's how that works all right come up here come up here all right, get some last second stuff. All right, and that's it. Not a whole lot left. Except they gave the last two ingredients, and then that is it. That's it for order to choose base. I kid you not. All right, fall down there. Oh, crap. Wait. Oh, no, we landed on it right. Okay, cool. Uh, so this, if you come over here, uh, put that onto that, I believe that's going to be a golden peach. Serious fruit. Close your, no, no, I don't want to be in you. Over here, grab that. Kutani pottery, uh, will sell for a whole lot of money. 
and take this and do that. Belt that down, which will allow for ease of access. So, long last, we have all the ingredients and just give it to them. Offered the eyeball of fire and we offered the black demon horn. We he he with these, uh, or she uh, or will be happy, yada yada yada. And he makes them all. And he's going to juggle them because he's super cool. And, all the, and then they go. Watch what he names this. Ta da! Introducing the crown jewel of appetizers. It's here to bring out the maximum flavor in any main course. I give you my ultimate masterpiece. Dung Heap Slime Bucket Goulash. This shall make the main course of Kushi a thousand times better. Well, we mustn't keep Lord Orochi waiting, sweetheart. Go to the Great Hall and ring the European bell. Um, I think this is where we're going to end it off. A really, really weird place to end this off, but I kind of want to just experience that whole cutscene. Everything else after that in one episode. So next time, I don't call me HD. We're heading up to defeat Orochi, the main course. See you guys then.